Hello and welcome to episode 104 of my Working With Todoist and in this week's show I'm going to talk to you about all the things that you can do with If This Then That. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Working With Todoist and in this week's episode uh, I want to just cover all the recipes that you can use with a web application and I think application for pretty much every mobile device called If This Then That. Now basically this works that if this happens then do that. That's what it's pretty much short for. If you look for IFTTT uh, in your application store of choice, you will be able to find this application. And Todoist has been doing a lot of work in the background to develop quite a lot of recipes, as if this then that calls them, to make your usage of Todoist that much better and a bit more seamless. So we have a lot of features in this if this then that functionality that you can take advantage of and in this week's show I'm going to show you some of uh, the the more common ones and actually I think Todoist has a, uh, a page where you can see all the recipes. Now I don't use many of them to be fair because I've had other workarounds and I try not to have too many add-ons in my uh, to do its application but for you you might find that there's a lot of things in here that you can take full advantage of so I want to go through what you can and cannot do and see what you think I'm sure you'll find quite a few of these recipes are really useful for you so let's get straight into it and have a look at if this then that and to doist Okay, so here we are in the Todoist page of If This Then That. And to get to that, if you just go to If This Then That, If This Then, IFTTT.com. Um, and actually it's quite easy, uh, IFTTT.com forward slash Todoist. This gives you this page, which gives you all the um, recipes, or actually they've changed them to Apple applets now. Uh, it used to be, um, should I say, it used to be with um, uh, recipes, but they've now changed the name of these. Now, the three that I use, and I actually create created four, but one I found didn't work very well, so I, <laughs> I actually switched it off, and I found a better way of working with that. But let's just go through the three that I'm using. The first one that I'm using is get a summary email of the tasks I have completed this week. And basically, if I click on this, it should it gives me the option I've turned this on and basically what it does is um, <clears throat> it sends me an email every Monday morning um, to tell me all the tasks that I completed last week and this clearly looking at this the 7.9 uh, 7900 people have actually use is actually using this um, uh, recipe or so I think that's a very very um, uh, shows you how popular that is and I can change the options in this very easily so that's one the next one I have here is make a new task now this is something I use with if this then that's note um, app on my phone basically it's in my drop down menu so I can just quickly add a task to Evan uh, to, to Todoist and I really like this one because it's so fast and once I hit the return I can actually just start typing the next one so I find this is really useful if I am doing a brainstorming session so that's when I use this one um, a new task uh, in iOS reminder add it to Todoist now this one I I've, for some reason it doesn't seem to work very well and I I now use drafts for this, but this one is good, if particularly for a reminder that I don't actually need to be reminded of immediately. So there's one. So those are the three that I'm actually using. Uh, the one that I've got switched off is one that 
is just another version of this one. But if I go further down the page, um, this is the one that um, you, these are all the applets that you can actually use. So we've got automatically add a task to Todoist when you start an email in Gmail. This, <clears throat> this one is a really, really good one, particularly if you get a lot of email and you want to keep a track of all the emails that you need to reply. All you need to do is favorite or star uh, an email and this will then be automatically sent to your uh, inbox in Todoist. Uh, this is the saving a new iOS reminder in Todoist tasks, automatically create a Google Calendar event for Todoist tasks. So you've got a lot of options in here where you can actually cover. Now, as I said in the introduction to this video, Todoist has been doing a lot of work on this and there's more and more coming through. And uh, I think it's something that's really worth keeping an eye on maybe once or twice a month just to see. Uh, here's a really, really cool one. If tomorrow's forecast calls for rain, remind me to bring my umbrella with a Todoist task. Now, isn't that really cool? Another one there is add a new reminder for your missed phone calls and create a weekly recurring task in Todoist. So there's a lot of things that you can actually do that would make using um, to do to do is just that much better so have a look through these see if there's anything in there that you find useful as you can see um, to do is really has got a lot and it, and it has its own page now so it's very easy to find experiment with them play with them and see what will work for you as I say I found quite a few little gems in here and I do regularly check to see if there's anything new that's come up um, I really like uh, this one here which I haven't added yet now to add it is very simple I just click on it and I can turn it on and um, I'm gonna let it access my Gmail now the thing is I actually have two Gmail well, I have three Gmail accounts um, but uh, this is set up for my uh, Carl at carlpoline.com it's run through Gmail so I'm gonna allow that um, and um, now whenever I get an email that I star that will come up in my um, <clears throat> inbox so that is really so here's where you can actually alter I could actually create a new inbox here where I can actually add stuff but I'm not gonna leave that as inbox priority please select so again I could create that as a priority one most urgent less urgent etc so I'm gonna save that I haven't really played with it but there you go uh, and jobs done and that's it. That's all I have to do. My applet is now active and it will act on my Gmail account. And I can add this to as many of my email accounts as I like. I just have to alter the, uh, the login details for my Google account. Okay, hopefully you found this useful. I strongly recommend that you have a play around with if this then that. It is a really, really good application and worth downloading to your phone or any mobile device. So thanks very much for watching this episode. I hope you all have an incredibly productive week and I'll see you in the next episode.